Hey everybody. So I posted a video recently about a devastating fire that we had on San Juan Island where I live. And I've been getting a few comments about, you know, why was there only one ladder? Why did we not hit this sooner? Why isn't there more resources? And I wanted to explain why that's difficult where I live. So today I'm in Seattle. As you can see there, that's the Space Needle. And I am going to do a quick little video just showing you the logistics of getting up to San Juan Island. And um, you'll see here we're hitting a little bit of everything weather-wise. Uh, today alone we've had snow, hail, rain, uh, cloudiness like this, and beautiful sunshine. So in pure Seattle fashion. So just watch now as I go and do a little bit of the logistics and show you the trouble it is living on a small island. Now, I've only lived on San Juan Island. This does apply to similar size islands throughout the country though. Now the process to get up to the island actually starts several days, weeks, or months early by making a reservation to get on the ferry. Because the ferry is the only way for most people to get on the island, we are going to ensure we have a spot. So, as you can see here, we're leaving from Anacortes. We're heading up to Friday Harbor, which is on San Juan Island. We'll pick our day, our vehicle, and look at the times. Now, we're only a couple days out, so there's some slots not available, but we're lucky enough to get one. So I'll go ahead and pick what we want, enter all of our information, verify, you know, make sure we're not a robot and all that. And then we could rest at ease knowing that we maybe have a spot on our desired ferry. Now, if you live in Seattle, you know that our state has a terrible layout of highways. But if you're coming to visit, you're going to notice something really terrible. The main interstate, Interstate 5, that runs through the state goes through Seattle. And not just by Seattle or near it. It literally goes underneath the city. There's tunnels on, that the highway uses that go right underneath the convention center, under the main roads, and on top of that, it's a choke point. The lanes get down, so it's going to be a terrible experience for almost anyone. I was actually pretty lucky today. I had a nice smooth drive relatively through the city. The good thing is, once you're out of the city, the state starts to show how pretty it really is. Uh, you only have one more kind of major city, that's Everett, that you have to go through. And then you just get into fields, into valleys, into hills. And a simple hour drive later, and you'll find that you finally made it to the gas station and the grocery store. San Juan Island is very expensive. So it's very important that you fill up your gas tank and get your snacks before you come over. But then, hop back on one short highway, you drive through the charming little town of Anacortes, and you're there, finally at our ferry landing. Hello, Friday Harbor Reservation under Wainwright. Now hopefully your interaction at the toll booth is as smooth as mine, but once you get through, you're going to find yourself in a rather large parking lot. There's going to be about 20 very large lanes, and they will tell you which one to park in. And then you just relax. If you're there early enough, you have a chance to go for a walk on the beach or through the trails that are nearby. There's a concession stand, or you could just hang out and have a snack in your car. But hopefully before too long, you'll find yourself boarding the ferry. Again, they will tell you exactly what to do when you get on the ferry. And it's just very important to follow what people are saying. There's a lot of cars that are very close together and they will probably park you within a couple inches of another car. Again, I got pretty lucky. There weren't a lot of cars, they gave us a lot of space and things just went easily. At this point, you should just feel free to go upstairs and enjoy the ferry. This is a beautiful ride through the San Juans, and honestly, it's hard to get a better view of the beautiful place that I like to call home. All said and done, 
the drive is going to take you about an hour and a half to get from Seattle to Anacortes. Now, if there is an actual emergency, a fire truck, an ambulance, a police car, they're not gonna have to go through all the hassle that I had to go through just to get on the boat. But the boat doesn't go any faster just because there's a fire truck on it. It still takes over an hour just to get across. It still takes time for the fire truck to get wherever they're coming from to the ferry landing and to get them all sorted on to get everything moving and to go. And there still has to be crew on the boat, so they can't just have a random boat start moving. But even with all these added difficulties and increased risks, it really is worth living on this beautiful island. And if you've never been here, it's worth visiting as well. Please come and check it out, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I love answering questions about the island and bragging a little anytime I get a chance. Please like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see on this channel. I'm always trying out new things and would love to have your input.